Shalom, Kohaloyam, Wahawa, La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors are definitely due unto the venerable apostles of the Great Millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule and teach, Yasharala will. Salutations, peace, and blessings be unto the Ba'af Duwada, that is the house of David the elect, beginning with you, Akiyam, who are preaching and teaching the correct doctrine boldly on the four corners of the planet Earth, on down to the men, women, and children who hath believed our report. I'm Shamar Moth, and um, back with another video, a topic that we have gone into, you know, a lot, you know, um, over the years, you know, beginning first and foremost with the apostles, okay, and that's this uh, topic of the Trinity, which stems from the Roman Catholic whore, all right? The Trinity is not biblical, okay? Uh, uh, Yahweh Shai, all right, whom the world ignorantly refers to as Jesus Christ is not the Most High God, okay? And the Most High God, Yahweh, all right, which is his true name in the Paleo-Hebrew tongue, he is not the Son, okay? They are two separate entities, two separate beings, okay? And this is easily proven in the scriptures. And sometimes you have to go into these topics, okay, you know, primarily for the newer lambs coming into the fold, okay? You're just now waking up and, and, and you're having to wash off the filth, okay? You're having to wash off the filth, okay, uh, 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 that is known as plantation Christianity. And how you do that is by listening to, to uh, the men of the Lord, okay, who can uh, uh, break it down properly for you, all right? The Son is not the Father, and the Father is not the Son. And the inspiration for the video, all right, is um, you see right here, um, there's this video put up by the uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, okay, whose page is Daily Edification 4, all right? And the title of his lesson is, How Can the Son Be the Father When the Son is? kept acknowledging all right the father okay and it's basically what he's going into is is uh, the elder apostle tahar you know was going in on a lesson you know concerning this topic um you know uh cut and vocab alone okay uh a scoffer and a demon okay you Christians, you know, just need to put the scriptures down. We say that time and time again. You had your run, okay? And look at what Christianity produced. Look at the fruit Christianity produced throughout this earth, okay? Nothing but wickedness, man. Colonialism, you know, a slavery, okay? Abuse, torture, sexual abuse, all right? The, 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 the men of the Lord got the scriptures back, man, Okay? Lord willing, we're a part of that number. We got the scriptures back, and we're the only ones authorized, okay, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashmiah Shah to teach them, okay? And who are we sent to teach? All right, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, okay? And those of you mingled among the heathen, okay, who may look like the heathen, the, the speckled birds, the Israelite foreigners, Okay, y'all being the, the, the Lord's chosen people. Okay, we're supposed to be teaching y'all and edifying y'all through the power of spirit of y'all bless me outside. So anyway, as I was watching this video, I jotted down a couple precepts. I mean, you know, this is this is an easy, this is an easy one. You know, this is an easy one. So if the Holy Spirit Rakakwadas is seven with you, you know, you'll get this. This will make sense. If not, you're not one of his elect and you're gonna be destroyed. All right, bottom line. Okay, because the Lord, Gal Bashamiah Shai, is only dealing with his election right now. All right, he's not even dealing with two thirds of his own people. Okay, I'm sure as hell ain't dealing with Esau, Edom. Okay, this, the so called white man, all right, who mangles the scriptures every time he goes into them. All right, and he, and he ain't dealing with any other heathen nation. All right, so anyway, let me start in John, the 17th chapter. This will not be long at all you know our main focus is bible prophecy but you know this kind of ties into that because we were told in the last days you know that the scoffers and mockers you know would rise up man and and that's what's going on even among yasharala right now you got men out here teaching that we're already in the new covenant which lord willing i'll go on to that okay but you know the, the apostles and the elders and and the akiyam 
you know, throughout the four corners have gone into it. But, you know, I'll throw, I'll throw my spiritual two cents in. You know, Lord willing, I don't want to rot this eye. Scoffers and mockers are rising up in these last days. You know, teaching teaching doctrines of demons. You know, we're in a new covenant. Uh, they're, they're talking about the MOTB being sin. Nah, man, the MOTB is karagma, the C-hip. Anyway, let's stay on point. Pardon my, uh, <laughs> pardon my rant. Okay, let's stay on point. The son is not the father. The father is not the son. Yahweh Shai is not Yahweh, and Yahweh is not Yahweh Shai. Real simple. John the seventeenth chapter. John chapter seventeen and verse one. These words spake Yahweh Shai, and lifted up his eyes to heaven and, and said, "Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee." Now, what's happening right here? This is when Yahweh Shai was in the Garden of Gethsemane. All right, prior to being arrested. You know, and being turned over to the Romans by the uh, uh, chief priest, okay, prior to his crucifixion on that Roman wood. All right, who's he praying to, man? He's lifting up his eyes to heaven, and he's praying to someone. He, he was, who is he praying to, himself? Is he asking himself to glorify himself? No, he's praying to his heavenly father, Yahweh, okay? He is the second in command. It goes like this, Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, okay? And then his men, all right? You, you, you got the angels, okay? And you got his men, okay? There's, there's the order, okay? Yahweh Shai, again, is the second in command, and he's praying to someone. He's not praying to himself. He's saying, glorify thy son. Why? So that thy son may also glorify thee, okay? Um. Now, I could keep on going. Uh, as a matter of fact, I will. All right, verse two is thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. That's right. So who 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 gave him the elect? His elect, the heavenly Father. Okay. Again, there is a hierarchy. All right, there is an order: the Father, and then there's the Son. OK, and pretty soon the father is getting ready to command. All right. His son to come back and to destroy Babylon, the great a.k.a. America. All right. And gather the elect together. All right. Which the elect was set up at the foundation of the world. You know, those elect spirits were created in the very beginning. All right. By who? Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. See, because Yahweh don't leave his throne for nothing. Yahweh Shai is, is, is a king who sits on a throne, okay, who, who gives orders, okay? It, you, you, you can read about that in Amos, the, the third chapter. All right, surely the most high power doeth nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. What is that, uh, Amos 3 and 7? Okay, see, in the beginning, what, what happened was Yahweh gave the blueprint, all right, to Yahweh Shai, who was, a, who was a, you know, the first created spirit, okay? Yahweh gave a blueprint to Yahweh Shai and the angels and, they, and who created all these things, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is, is not Yahweh and Yahweh is not Yahweh Shai. Okay? It's madness, man. That would make Yahweh Shai praying in the Garden of Gethsemane, that would make him schizophrenic. He was praying to himself. Most high power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai forbid that. Daniel chapter 7. Um... Daniel's seventh chapter. And uh, verse starting in verse 13. Daniel's chapter 7, starting in verse 13. And it reads, I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man, all right, which is one of Yahweh Shai's titles, came with the clouds of heaven, all right, the chariots, and came to the Ancient of Days. All right, who's the Ancient of Days? The Ancient of Days, all right, the one with no beginning and no end, is Yahweh. okay? That's one of his titles, the Ancient of Days. It says, and they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. This is talking about the kingdom of heaven, okay? 
his dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So here, here we have Yahweh coming, all right, to see the ancient of days, two separate entities. The Son of Man, Yahweh coming to see the ancient of days, Yahweh. People are stupid, man. All right. And and, and you know what? It, we really it's not even, you know, really you can't even <laughs> it's hard to get on y'all because you know this ain't for everybody. You know, this is only for the election. Again, right now, the two thirds don't even understand this, man. The two thirds don't know Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. OK. Um, let's jump back to the. Uh, to the New Testament, which the New Testament all right, for you Christians, once again, does not contradict the Old Testament. It, it, it all works perfectly together, including the 14 apocryphal books. Okay, you ain't got the whole scroll if you don't got the 14 apocryphal books. All right. John chapter. Uh, let's let's start in John, the fifth John, the fifth chapter. All right. For these next few precepts. All right. John chapter five. And uh Verse 19, then answered Yahweh and said unto them, Verily, verily, all right, truly, truly, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the Father do. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the Son likewise. Think of an earthly example. Think of a father and son, a business team, right? The son grows up watching the father conduct business. Let's say, you know, the father is a, well, let's use the, a, a, the carpenter. Analogy. Say that you have a father-son carpent carpentry team. All right, the son grows up watching his father. All right, and becomes eventually, eventually, you know, a, a carpenter uh, like his father, and does what his father uh, does. Okay, this is this is the same thing, man. Okay, the the, the Lord Yahweh came to do the will of the heavenly Father. Okay, and what he does, all right, so does the Father. OK, he didn't he didn't come to do his own will. He came again. He came to do the will of his father, Yahweh. All right. Um, verse 24, the father loveth the son and shew, sheweth him all things that himself doeth. And he will shew him greater works than these that ye may marvel. That's right, man. Who again, who showed him uh, 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 the things that he needed to do? His heavenly father through the spirit. OK. That's what Yahweh came to do. The things which his father showed him. All right. Yeah, man. And to do his will. OK. To do his will. He, he's completely obedient to his father. Two separate entities. All right. Stay in the book of John. There's, there's a lot of uh, um, places you can go. Uh, to prove this point. In uh, John's gospel, all right, again, just touching on a few, um, right, John 15, before I go to John 15, let's go to John 14, okay, all right, this is John chapter 14 and verse 28, ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you, if ye love me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father. All right, so he, he's getting ready to go back to sit down, all right, on the right-hand side of his Father. Two separate entities, two separate beings. They are not one and the same. Again, Yahweh came with his Father's doctrine. They're on one accord, all right, but they're two different entities, all right? It says, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my father is greater than I. Okay? So who's greater? All right? Yahweh. He is above his son. Okay? As the heavenly father. There is an order. And Yahweh Shai was in complete, again, a, a, a obedience to his father. All right? He didn't try to usurp his father's authority. Okay? He just said it. 
Who's greater than I? All right, my father is greater than me. Okay? Um, John chapter 15. Hey, the whole lesson, you, could, you know, you really could stay in the book of John. I'm not going to, but you could. All right, John chapter 15. And uh, verse 22, and it reads, If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had, they had had not sin. But now they have no cloak for the sin. That's right. You you two-thirds don't got a cloak for your sin, man. When the Lord comes back, all right, to judge, all right, to, 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 to destroy, all right, you two-thirds won't be able to say you didn't know. You won't have an excuse, man. You got no cloak because this word has been out, all right, through the power of spirit of y'all, by Samir side for three plus decades now, okay? So you ain't got a cloak. All right, it says, if I, again, John chapter 15 and verse 22, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had had not sinned, but now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. Hey, so you Old Testament only Israelites? Are you Old Testament only bug outs? You really hate Yahweh. All right? You really hate Yahweh. Okay, because you don't acknowledge uh, 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 his only begotten son. I'll read it again. Verse 23. He that hateth me hateth my father also. So you really, y'all all, and and you ever listen to Old Testament only Israelites? Arrogant, proud, condescending. All right. Well, guess what? You're going to bend your knee. You're going to bend your knee, son. <laughs> Every knee is going to bow, man. All right. To Yahweh Shai. That's the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? Um, let's see. Uh, pardon me. I'm dealing with a, a bit of a uh, runny nose this morning. Uh, no big deal. Okay? Uh, so, uh, you know, forgive me, I've had to pause the lesson a couple times. Um, all right, let's go to uh, the book of Acts, all right? Moving right along. All right. To uh, Acts, the 10th chapter, all right? Acts, the 10th chapter is a great chapter, all right? Cornelius, Israelite, okay, who was a soldier, okay, in the Italian band, all right? <laughs> Don't make him Edomite. Cornelius was an Israelite. All right. This is the book of Acts, the 10th chapter. Okay. And um, I'll start in verse 36. <laughs> and this is a cut, man, because uh, <laughs> hey, this, this proves, you know, again, who salvation is for. Who, who is this word for? Acts chapter 10 and verse 36. The word which Yahweh sent unto the children of Israel. Okay, so who's this word sent to? The children of Israel, Yasharala. It says, preaching peace by Yahweh Shammashiach, he is Lord of all. That word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. Verse 38, and here's the point. How Yahweh anointed Yahweh Shai of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for Yahweh was with him. All right? So again, how could they be the same? How can they be the same when it says Yahweh was with his son and that Yahweh anointed his son? All right? Craziness, man. Straight craziness. Now, again, Yahweh Shai is a God. All right? He's just a lesser God. He is a God. Okay, but he is not the most high God. As a matter of fact, let's, let's just go to Hebrews for that. Hebrews chapter 1. And um, verse 8. But unto the Son he saith, all right, who's saying this? Okay, the Father, all right. But unto the Son he saith, thy throne, O power, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. Thou hast loved righteousness, verse 9, and hated iniquity. Therefore, the Most High Yahweh, even thy power, okay, actually, it says, therefore, so like it says, therefore, all right, 
it reads God. Okay, therefore God, even thy God. Okay, see, see that God is just a title. Okay, it's just a title, and like I said, His men are gods. Okay, Lord willing, we're those men. All right, we were gods, but what happened? We fell. We lost that godlike status. Okay, so you have the Most High God Yahweh, and you have Yahweh Shah, who is a god, and you have his men who are gods. Then you've got the gods and the nations that the Lord gave these heathens to worship. Okay, damn man, you yeah you Christians trip over that word God. Okay. Let me read it as it's written. Verse 9 again. Hebrews 1 verse 9. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, okay, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Right. Yahweh anointed Yahweh Shai with the oil of gladness above, thy, above his fellows. Okay. That's right, man. So Yahweh Shai is a God. Yes. He's just not the most high God. All right. Um, again, they're, they're different beings, man. Revelation, the third chapter. Revelation, the third chapter. And, um, verse 21. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. This is how I was speaking. Even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Okay, <laughs> they're side by side. Yahweh Shai is on the right hand of Yahweh. All right, uh, uh, on the same uh, page, man. All right, on one accord, real easily. Real, it's like you're <laughs> real easy to understand. Once again, all right, you got to have Rakakwadas, the Holy Spirit, to help you, uh, uh, you know, help you see these things. Okay. Yeah, man, and, and actually. This kind of ties in with Hebrews chapter 1, verses 8 and 9, which I just read. Let's go to Philippians. Let's go to Philippians, where Paul said, let's see, yeah, Philippians 2, okay? Let's see. Philippians chapter 2 and verse, um, verse 8, okay? Because... Yahweh exalted his son, man. All right, Yahweh uh, 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 gave his son the kingdom. All right, Yahweh Shah being the king of kings and lord of lords. Okay, but who gave him that? Who gave him that authority? Who gave him that rank? Yahweh. Okay. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore... Yahweh also hath highly exalted him. Okay? His father exalted him, it says, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of the things in heaven and the things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai Mashiach is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. So you Old Testament only Israelites, all you uh, 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 damn people out here are going to bow down, okay? And that's going to ultimately glorify, okay, uh, Yahweh the Father. That's how he set this thing up, man. That's how he ordained this, all right? Yeah, man, and that's a beautiful uh, precept right there, okay? Other scriptures in the New Testament that you can go and read, and I'll, 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 I'll end it with that one, all right, but just wrote these down Ephesians chapter 4 verses 4 through 6 Romans the first chapter the seventh verse Romans the 15th chapter and the sixth verse okay first Corinthians the first chapter and the 31st verse Galatians the first chapter and the first verse and I could have and again you know I could you know you could spend a whole lot more time on this topic Yahweh Shai is not the father and 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 and, and, and uh, Yahweh is not the son Lord willing to use edify go and watch this video Okay, I'm 18 minutes in to it myself. Go and watch the Apostle Gabar. Watch the Apostles and the Elders, you know, uh, uh, daily. All right, Lord willing, he was edified through the Spirit. With that, I want to say shalom all.